Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has all been going on this week in the Carl and Carter home. The last video you would have seen was my empty house tour. Since then me and Carter have moved in. There has been so much going on this week from a million and one parcels arriving from Amazon to carpenters being here, to electricians being here, to flooring people being here. Because I didn't really bring a lot from the flat to the house. I wanted to start scratch, start brand new and just kind of get everything done. I'm having my dressing room done in the next couple of months which I'm gonna take you on that journey. And then also the worst part was I feel like I spent ages boxing everything up from the flat and then you get here and it's like, unbox it again. So since the empty house tour, there is a lot changed. So later on, I've got a shoot this morning with my video I prefer, my first proper shoot in the house with furniture in. I mean, I hated my flat for shooting, so it just feels nice to wake up and be able to say, my photographer will be here in a minute, I don't have to go to someone else's house. And then later I'll give you a little updated tour of kind of what's going on and what's been put in. I've had my new sofa arrive. If you can hear the scratching in the background, basically, um, it's really sad, but Carter had an operation at the start of this week. I don't know if you guys have seen on previous videos, he's had really bad skin issues where he bites himself. Um, so I took him in for a procedure where they put him under, like put him to sleep. And um, they take skin from the inside and check for things like inside mites and stuff. So I just feel like I need to get this problem resolved. And it's not like the first thing you want to do is put your dog to sleep, but um, to put him under, but and needed to, to go to the next level. So he's been really uncomfortable this week. He's in like a bodysuit. I'll show you him in a minute. And he can't sit properly. He's been really sad, he's in pain, he's, his tail's bleeding. So it's kind of nice that I've been here to look after him and give him a lot of love, but it's not nice to obviously see him in pain. Um, so yeah, but I'm um, having my morning smoothie. I'll show you him in a minute. He's currently eating his paws, um, but yeah. I can't wait to kind of take you on this house journey now. I feel like it really is starting to feel like a home. I've had friends come over. I feel like in the flat, I never really wanted anyone to come over to my place because it was quite small and it wasn't mine. Whereas now this is mine. But now neighbors have come to knock on the door. Carter sits at this like door window. When the neighbors walk past, they see him and this woman came knocking on the door going, oh my God, I had to say hello, I love him. And she had a dog as well. So we're gonna go, uh, gonna go on a dog date a little day, um, play date with the dogs. So yeah, it's been a really busy, manic week, but I just feel really happy. I feel like it's took me two years to get into this house and now like I've slept here and there's furniture in, it really just feels good. So I'm gonna crack on with the day. Reese will be here in a minute. Carter, I will show you quickly, bless him. Carter, are you in pain? You got your little bodysuit on. Hey, creating such a mess of food everywhere. He basically can't sit properly at the minute because of his operation. So he lies down and just gets the food everywhere. You okay? Oh, okay, turning his back on me. He's annoyed because he's had his operation and he thinks it's my fault. If only he knew it was all for his own good. Reese is here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing house tour. Yes, we're getting content for the house. So this bedroom, guys, was empty when you last saw it. And now we've got Reese's bedroom, so you can serve and shoot all my content. Uh, so this is just gonna be the spare room, but it's actually the room I'm sleeping in at the minute because it's the only room with a bed. But we're getting a wardrobe here. It's dirty pants down there, so let's not go too low. But um, yeah, I mean, at least we have a bed and I'm not sleeping on the floor. And then, I'll let Reese crack on. This room, we now have rails. This is where I said I bought a million things from Amazon because basically I've bought two million or a million rails. So um, I have got all my clothes out so I can see what I'm wearing for my shoots. But this, in two months time, will be a full on bespoke wardrobe, which is one of the most exciting things in the house I'm excited for. Little drawers again from Amazon. I mean, this is ridiculous. These are all shoes. Literally, all the boxes and the bags, shoes. And then the bathroom is still kind of the same. Obviously, a few little 
bits and bobs, but this will be styled next week. And then, yeah, upstairs, please. Construction guys outside. We've got, um, I'm gonna get some more rails for these because we've just got hoodies, jumpers and stuff. Yeah, so my bed will be here, but the minute I've got my mirror, my product drawer there, and then I'm gonna have a wardrobe behind here. And then let's go upstairs. This room, I'm not actually sure what I wanna do with it yet. I think it's gonna be like a content room. Oh, let me while Reese is filming it there, show you. Have you locked this? I feel like people keep, I feel like there's someone living in my house. Things keep opening and locking. I shouldn't say that, because I'll be scared on my own. This is, I know I showed you the loft before, but I mean, I've got so much stuff in here, but it's not even covered the space. Like, I just don't know what to do with. I thought he'd shut the door and lock me in then. Let me out! Yeah, in this room, oh, Reese hard at work. Sorry about that. Boom. Look at that transition. This has got to be a content room because obviously with the light, it's just amazing here. But this guy's is a box full of fragrances. I'm going to create like a fragrance wall somewhere. Coats, shirts, blazers, suits, all organized. Yes. Um, I'm going to crack on with filming now because he's getting annoyed at me because he just wants to get it done and then go home. Um, and then I'll show you downstairs a little bit later. In this vlog, you're gonna see me in about 10 different outfits because we're shooting different rooms. I'm doing a different outfit for each room. That's dedication to content creating, that is. Carter, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna show you. Basically, I did a job before Christmas. You look so sad, you, you poorly. And also, look on his paw. They had to like shave to put like a catheter thing in. Is it a catheter? Uh... Like fluids and stuff going in. But basically I did a job for DFS just at the end of last year. And we shot in a massive mansion. But basically this was the corner sofa. My new coffee table, my new chair. But this was the corner sofa. And then Carter had his dog sofa. Now in a mansion, it looked a reasonable size put it into my house, which is a good size, but not a mansion, it was massive. Like literally, the dog sofa was like covering all that space. It was just like a massive, co uh, like a cozy cinema room, but there was just like no space. So this is the little layout. This is all canvases and art going on the wall there and stuff. There's gonna be a lamp over there. But Paul Carter is actually fell in love with his dog so far, and I mean, I just don't know where to put it, because I'm gonna have a dining room table here with chairs. Carter, do you like your sofa? Should we put it in the loft and then you can sleep in the loft? Yeah? Oh, he just looked really sad. Productive day, shoot done. I've been to the gym. I'm now cooking up a little treat. I'll show you what I'm making. So, Got some chicken on the go. And then I'm just having it with spinach, salad, black beans, random sauces. I mean, I need to properly do a shot. I'm just pulling anything out. And some tomatoes with salt and pepper. After, focus. After I've done this, I'm gonna do a bit more organizing. I've had another rail arrive today. I mean, when my wardrobes actually come, I'm gonna have like, 15 million rails up in my loft, but I have so many clothes. I don't know how I fitted them all into the flat. But I'm gonna put some more jumpers and hoodies onto the rails. And then tonight, I am heading into London. I'm quite nervous, I know this is ridiculous, but you know when you live somewhere for so long, I was in that flat for three years, it's the comfort of knowing where the train station is, how to get into London, how to get home, and I haven't, kind of traveled on the train or anything from this new address. So today is gonna to be the day. I'm gonna be a big boy, go to the train station myself, and I'm heading out for some drinks with my friends tonight to kind of celebrate the move and just, yeah, head out for some drinks. But I think my chicken's burning, so I'm gonna get back to cooking. Woohoo! 
is what life's come to. Getting excited about a laundry bag. Or, yeah, laun is it laundry? Laundry basket coming through the post. I've just ordered, I mean, this is ridiculous. My last laundry bag I had cost me probably about five pounds from Amazon. But I thought, why not go all out this time? This cost me 90 pounds from John Lewis. It's a Joseph Joseph Tota um, laundry basket. Let me show you. Basically, I'm just going for a easier thing, really, that it splits my whites and blacks. I hate emptying the whole basket, putting it all on the floor and picking out whites and blacks and then having to put the rest of it back in. I mean, first world problems. But with this, you basically have two holes. You can put the blacks in one side, the whites in the other. I don't really know what I'm going to do with the colours. I think you just put colours in with blacks anyway. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. I also just received, let me just get it. I'm so excited to show you this. After moving in, I realised how much I use this item. I mean, I, have, I didn't get one until today. My partner actually bought me it. I don't know where it's going to go yet because there isn't any cupboard space for it and I hate them being out. I mean, the suspense is probably killing you. But I could not live without this item. Let me get it. Oh, it's heavy. I could not live without a microwave. The other day, I went to make a jacket potato. No microwave. Five minutes in the microwave, done. Then I went to make rice. Two minutes in the microwave. Had to boil it. So I have now got a microwave. As I said, I don't really know where I'm going to put it yet because I don't really like microwaves out on the kitchen tops. I feel like I'm a bit disappointed that it wasn't built into the kitchen because I feel like everyone needs a microwave, so why was it not here? It's kind of like an oven. It is needed. But yeah, I've just got this one through today. It is a microwave and an oven. So... I mean, I'm sport for choice in what I want to make in it. But I'm going to try and find a cupboard space now to put it in, to put it away, and I'll have to just put it in and out. I did just get another box as well. Might as well show you while I'm doing some house stuff unboxing. I'm not sure what this is. Let me get it. As I said, this is what life has come to now. Every day, more. Where's my knife and forks? Scissors. More house stuff just being delivered. Let's see what this is. What is it? Oh, it is, again, really exciting content and stuff for you here, guys. I am awful, by the way. My mum and dad always laugh at me. I'm awful at opening boxes and, and letters. I always rip the letters because I just get too excited and end up tear it open. This, I believe, is... Ah, I'm going to get out my new, I think it's my new saucepan set. So I basically ordered from John Lewis the wash basket and also it is, I see another box. Oh, what else did I order? Oh no, don't tell me I ordered, what the hell is that? I mean they sent me an empty box. Yes, let me get it out. Let me get them out. Again, in my flat, I feel like when something isn't yours, like in my flat. Oh. It's here. In my flat, I just had the most cheapest utensils and saucepans and stuff. But being in kind of my house now, I feel like I want to get decent stuff. So, when I get it out, let me bear with. Bear with me. Oh. So I ordered three saucepans and these were £132. They're the Easy Glide three size saucepans. So some really exciting stuff for you here, but I thought I'd come on and show you. So yeah, both of these were from the microwave is Panasonic by the way. I mean a microwave's a microwave, isn't it? But if it's good, I'll let you know down the line on another video. 
if it's worth buying or not if you're looking for a new microwave oven. But I'm going to get these out now, find a place to put them, and then um, I'm going to go upstairs, sort the last rails of jumpers and stuff, and then I really need to get myself ready for heading into London. Okay, I've managed to sort out my dressing room. I cannot wait to actually have my dressing room done, but for now, we have rails. So I've got t-shirts, polos, thin jumpers, some drawers that I bought just for pants and socks and belts and stuff. I've got my trousers, my jeans, jackets, suits. I need to sort out my shoes. There is a huge pile. I've got them at the bottom as well, but I have so many shoes. And then now, I'll show you what we're gonna tackle now. This is madness, but Carter, obviously wearing the dog, wearing the same clothes as me, has accumulated his own little wardrobe. So, I, oh, basically, let me pull it out here. Oh, I basically, because obviously wanted to make life easier when I'm shooting, want to get Carter's outfits out as well. I'm sweating. This top room, by the way, is amazing light, but it's like a little greenhouse. Got Carter a rail as well, so let me come down. I'm gonna go through this huge bag and just hang his stuff up as well so I can just choose what I'm wearing, pick what he's wearing and kind of come upstairs and get it off the rail. So I'm actually gonna do this and then I'm gonna close this vlog off because as I said, I need to head into town. So I'm gonna try and tackle as much as this as I can now and get ready. And then, um, yeah, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of stuff still going on. I mean, I think I'm gonna vlog next week when my interior designer's coming around. She's got so much stuff that she's ordered for the house to kind of dress the house in a way. So loads of little ornaments, cool little crystals and stuff. So she'll be doing that. I'm still waiting for my dining room table, which I can't wait to get. But if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to go and subscribe. And I will see you all very soon on another video. Take care.